Hey guys, what's up? It's Ash from Ash Marketing back with another tutorial video today. I get asked this question a lot and people ask me all the time how I set up my business page or how they need to set up a business page for their own business or for a fan page or an organization or whatever it may be. And honestly, it's really simple, but a lot of these things that I do on a daily basis I find easy that other people may not so today I'm gonna to walk you through how to actually set up a business page on Facebook for your business not for your personal account but for your business and I'm honestly surprised at the number of businesses I talk to on a daily basis that don't already have a Facebook business page and there's really no reason why you shouldn't because it's free it doesn't cost you anything so you might as well have one but today I'm going to walk you through how to set one up, how to get started, and we're just going to do this live on the fly. And I would go to your home page. That's that was my Ash Marketing business page is where I started. This would be my home page for like your personal page. Uh, the only reason mine will look a little bit different is my news feed is currently blocked right now. <laughs> Um, I actually use an extension for Google Chrome called News Feed Eradicator that actually hides your news feed and shows a quote there instead. It's great for me because I'm on Facebook all the time, so it keeps me from getting distracted. Uh, I actually have another video on News Feed Eradicator if you'd like to look into that. But for today, let's create a page. So we're going to look down here on the left side, and you'll see all kinds of stuff. I probably have a lot more stuff I don't know but anyway at the very bottom you're gonna see create and you're gonna have several different options add fundraiser page group anyway we want to create a page so we're gonna to go to create page when you get here it's gonna give you all kinds of different options as well you can have a cause or community entertainment artist band or public figure local business or place company organization institution brand or product depending on what you want to do with your page or what the page is for obviously that's gonna change I believe my ash marketing is actually set up as a public figure instead of a business but today let's just do a local business we're gonna go with that now the difference with the local business is it will actually ask for a physical location uh, phone number address all that link it up so we're gonna do that we're gonna say our business name is what is our business name let's say Bob's burgers and there's probably already a page for Bob's burgers since that's a cartoon TV show but let's call it uh, Bob's burgers and shakes that's what our and let's say there's a category here which this will obviously narrow it down even further to what kind of business you are there's tons of options but we're gonna select a restaurant for our Bob's Burgers and Shakes and we'll say that that's located at 123 Main Street um, I'm gonna make up a number here and we'll see if it actually takes it or not we'll just go with the old 555 5555 five, five. I always notice that in TVs and movies they use that number a lot so let's try that one see if it works fingers crossed Obviously, if the name is already taken, it will tell you that. It'll usually suggest some things. Awesome. Okay, that worked. So we got Bob's Burgers and Shakes set up as a local business restaurant. So now it's going to walk you through some of the things that you need to do. So our page is actually set up and created, but obviously it doesn't look very good. So we're going to have to add some stuff to it. The first thing and the easiest thing is to add a profile picture. So um, one suggestion I would make here, and it depends on, again, what business you're setting up or what type of business you're setting up. But for me, and a lot of people will use a business logo here or a picture of their restaurant or whatever it may be, I always suggest using a picture of yourself if you can if if and when you can because Facebook is all about transparency and being real and you know I don't know if, about you but if I see things in my news feed that seem like it came from a real person rather than an ABC XYZ corporation or something I'm a lot more likely to interact with them so I would suggest here to load a picture of yourself rather than your logo but again 
it depends on what kind of business you're setting up or what type of page so today though let's go with this and we're going to put a picture of Bob here for Bob's burgers and shakes now it'll reposition so we'll do this you can make this larger if you want to but we're going to do a tight close-up shot of Bob and we're going to use that as our profile picture so let's do that we'll save the profile picture that should pop up here in a second maybe this will give me a chance to take a drink of water goodness that's going slow today your profile picture was successfully saved so now it should show our profile picture in that blank image instead of the black square there we go there's Bob I don't know why the internet decided to go really slow all of a sudden but now the next step over is adding a cover photo um, this is actually gonna appear a little bit different on your page you can get really creative here you can use anything you want gosh you can go check out competitors you can go check out other businesses and see some of the stuff that people have done but you want something that represents your business also keep in mind that I'm doing this from a desktop sometimes it will look a little bit different on desktop versus on mobile so you kind of want to play around with that as well and decide what works best for you for now we're just going to load this picture and say that that looks good we're going to save it you can reposition that if you want to but that works for me um, I believe that is 651 by 315 on the dimensions uh, don't quote me on that but you can google that and look up what the Facebook cover photo dimensions are if you really want to get creative there and but for now we're gonna use that and then the next part is really just setting up your page um, obviously you see here I have an option to invite people now this will only give me an option to invite people that I'm already friends with on my personal page so I can go over here and start inviting other friends that maybe have been to my restaurant that are familiar with it I can start inviting them to go ahead and they will they will get a notification that will give them the option to come back over and like the page so um, now welcome to your new page this will kind of walk you through some of the things and also give you tips if you want to do that add a short description so let's do that and we're going to say best burgers and shakes in town that works for now obviously you want to play with that too because there's a way to look at your page so that you can see your page as the public sees it and you'll see what kind of shows up on your page and give you ideas of what you want to edit but think of this as kind of a website in a way uh, it's a way for people to connect with your business on Facebook and get your hours your prices if you want to put a menu on here for a restaurant if you want to put services you offer it'll give you links back to your site there just really is so many things that you can do with it that I see so many businesses don't take advantage of and use create a username when I want to do that right now you can you can actually get see if you'll look up here you can't probably see it right now on your URL it'll show facebook.com it'll probably have a really long number you can actually get a custom URL for your page so I could do facebook.com slash Bob's burgers and shakes uh, I believe you have to have 25 people already liking your page before you get that they may have dropped that so don't quote me on that either but anyway we're just kind of walking you through the basics of how to set this up now you want to you want to put some post up here if, if it's a restaurant maybe you want to put some pictures of your food or people eating at your restaurant anything that you've got to kind of liven this page up and give it some life and make it look real if you go down to the right side here here's a map shows the address that we entered our phone number here's an option for the messages now where this this will actually connect to Facebook Messenger so they can message your page if they want to ask about reservations or prices or anything that they want to ask about your business now there's also an option to add a website so you would want to put your website link here 
You can do events. Uh, gosh, there's so much. Again, you can go in here to photos. You can add photos of your restaurant or your business or whatever it is. Just some things that give you life, makes it look alive and makes it look active. People want to see that when they come over to your page. Uh, people can also come review your business if they want to. If they've been to the restaurant, they want to review your restaurant. They can do that here. Videos that I could make a whole nother video on how important video is. That's all of my clients that I currently have. I don't recommend video to them anymore. I tell them that video is now a requirement because it is just so crucial to have video. Um, but again, I don't want to get off on a tangent on that because that could easily be a totally another video just on videos. Uh, let's go to about because that's where the main section is going to be on your information. So we already got a little bit of information here because we've already entered our address, the name of our restaurant, our phone number, what type of page it is. It's a restaurant. There's other business details that we can enter. There's payment method. I mean, there's just there really is so much stuff that you can do. I'm, I don't want to get too far into it because I don't want to overwhelm you. So I'll just stick to the basics today. But again, I would put your your website here. If you want to have an email for them to contact you, there'll be a contact information here. You can put your company email as well, or a contact email for a company representative if you don't have a company email. That's pretty much the basics, and that's really as easy as it is. Now again, as you develop your page, you can come in here and add more images, more events, that kind of stuff to make your page more active. You can post different things, you can run specials, there's all kinds of stuff. But for the basics of just setting up a page for your business, that's really all there is to it. It's that simple. So. I also set these up for businesses all the time. I I will actually come in and I'll do custom images for the cover photo, for the profile picture. I'll make everything look nice and pretty. I'll even do posts to help you get started and I'll even send some traffic and some likes your way. If that's something you're interested in, you can contact me directly at smartashmarketing at gmail.com or comment below. Uh, as always too hopefully this helped you if you were looking to just start a page and I'm always looking for feedback from you guys if there's something that you'd like me to do a video on if you have a question about Facebook or a question about marketing please comment below or message me again at my email smartashmarketing at gmail.com I would be happy to do it as always please like share comment subscribe all that good stuff I appreciate you guys watching I hope you got something out of this and I'll see you in the next video Thanks, guys.